So now we are going to further our discussion to find the F inverse by using the technique of reflection. So as we all know, the F inverse is equal to square root graph. So now we have to determine the symmetrical axis. So for the quadratic situation, x is equal to 3 over 2 is the symmetrical axis. For the F inverse, we have to determine the symmetrical axis as well by referring to this one. So it becomes y equals to 3 over 2. So where is the location 3 over 2? Around here. So y equals to 3 over 2. So where is the symmetrical axis? So the symmetrical axis will be around here. So y is equals to x. So now in order to sketch the f inverse, so basically we have a minimum point, okay, 302 and 304. So now we need to transform them. So it become 304 and 302. So where is the location of 302? It's in the red line. Okay, so what we have is, let's say here is 304, so the graph point will be around here. So what is the graph for the square root? If the coefficient of x is positive, so our graph will be like this. Okay, so that is the graph for f inverse. And the blue color one will be the F. So based on the diagram, we can see that, okay, we can see that the domain for F actually equals to 3 over 2 until positive infinity. And the range for F, you have to refer to the uh, Y axis, which is 3 over 4 until positive infinity. So now let's look at the domain for F inverse. So the domain for F inverse, which is referring to the X value. So the X value will be 3 over 4 until infinity. Okay. So the range for F inverse, we need to refer to the value of y. So the minimum value of y is 3 over 2 until positive infinity. So from here, we can see that their relationship. Okay, their relationship. So I can say the domain for f actually is equals to the range for f inverse. And the domain for f inverse actually equals to range of f. So that will be the conclusion. So here we are and thanks for watching.